This evening, we're going to video the planets with a camera lens. We'll be shooting through my DSLR, Canon 600D, and there's the lens. Cost 41 quid, I got it off eBay. What can we see with this 300mm lens then? What do you reckon? So if you've got a zoom lens that goes up to about 300mm, then you can do this too. And it is a great little intro into our solar system. There's the moon. She's looking quite nice. Here we go, the moon through my Canon 600D, looking very nice indeed. This is three times digitally zoomed in. You can zoom in too, just use the magnification buttons. Now, if there was a motorway from London to the moon, then travelling in my Mondeo would take about a year to get there, so the moon's a long way away. But with this 300mm lens, we can go much, much further. What's that just below the moon? nearly at the bottom of the rooftops. That's Venus. Hello Venus. Venus is covered in sulfur dark side clouds which just reflect everything. It looks pure white. You can see the disc. Let's be honest, it's not super interesting. Let's have a look at something else, shall we? Yeah, Venus not looking great, but Jupiter is still here, up there. Jupiter, there she is. She's still out, quite low to the west. So that's Jupiter. Now, we can zoom in digitally to reveal something pretty cool. Back, come back, come back. Jupiter's back with four little friends. 400 years ago, this view changed literally everything. That's what Galileo saw. Galileo took a few months and plotted the paths of these friends of Jupiter and got this. This is actually a shot from Juno. So these moons were going around Jupiter and no one had ever seen that before. Because until that point, people thought the Earth was in the middle of everything. Then above it, the celestial sphere, and beyond that, heaven. This idea of orbiting totally pulled out the rug from under humanity's feet. Because we realized the Earth wasn't the center of the universe when, when he saw that. And unfortunately, there was no space for heaven anymore. Instead of heaven, we have this. And that was a really, really big shock. A really big shock at the time. And we're heading, if you're a nerd like me, you'll know this, we're heading for an equally big shock now. Because there's a couple of things that have been observed in our universe that are gobsmackingly crazy. I'm talking about dark matter, dark energy. And we really need to change our perception of the universe in order to understand them. So it might happen in our lifetimes, it might not, but after 400 years, the rug is due to be pulled out from under humanity's feet once again. Okay, so where were we? So, uh, yeah, 300 millimeter lens. What else we got? I wonder if we can get Saturn. Okay, you just see Saturn. It's just there. Okay, let's give it a go. So I'm hoping with this 300mm lens we'll be able to see Saturn's rings. Because if we can do that, and if you do that, then you'll be amazed. And then you'll become an astro-nerd like me. Hooray! <laughs> yes you can. You can just see the rings, that's very cute. Isn't it amazing? There she floats. A billion kilometres away. If we built a motorway from London to Saturn, it would take me in my Mondeo 2,000 years to get there. Pretty cool, huh? Big shout out to Richtenstein for the fabulous tunes. Here come some more. Because we have more videos to watch. You've got a mobile phone, well you can get these with it. All you need is a pair of binoculars. Live in a city, you can get this. We did it for 150 pounds. And on an even tighter budget, with some help from one of the best planetary photographers in the world, we got Jupiter. So subscribe, like, follow, do whatever you have to do, because we've got a whole bunch of videos, super informative, super fun, waiting for you to watch. And more are coming, like this one, where we get a planet with a bean bag and a mobile phone. And just this weekend, with no telescope, with no tripod, with nothing but my mobile phone, I shot this. Can't wait to show you how to do it. 
and we need a bit of help to grow, so please spread the word by sharing our videos. See you on the next one.